Hey guys, it's me Edgar here to do my review on Secret Wars issue 4. It's been a while since we've done this whole series and you know I wanted to get this done so I could do other Marvel events so uh, yeah. The comic book opens up where we see the villains taking over the hero's base and pretty much they literally do what villains are no best. They take over and meanwhile they literally take an entire mountain and throw it on the heroes and pretty much after that our DL Captain Marvel uh, and Hawkeye are blasting all the rubble and you know when that whole thing is all done uh, yeah the entire continent of a, a mountain is gonna go pounded on their ass and the villains are just gonna watch and uh yeah meanwhile we see uh enchantress and thor having a good time and they divert back to the villains base and dr doom is questioning on enchantress why did you do this basically talking her into a bitch mode and after that ordeal uh, Doctor Doom just sits there just giving orders and both Kang and Doctor Doom are literally just doing what they need to do to achieve what they need to go for. Meanwhile the X-Men are doing whatever and they meet up with Magneto and they see he's with Wasp and ultimately yeah, that's just put it in better terms. They put two to two together. <laughs> Wolverine's like, ah, fuck this shit. I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. Professor X and Eric pretty much just like, okay, fine. Let's work our differences out and work as a team. Meanwhile, the Hulk and the rest of the Avengers are trying to figure out what ways we can get the hell out and trying to avert all this shit and blast an entire uh, continent on this mountain which they ultimately did with Iron Man and they also meet up with Thor as well and uh, after that ordeal uh, you even have uh, fucking Human Torch meets up with this chick and after that ordeal Ben Grimm has problems to where he keeps transforming to the thing and it keeps on transforming to Ben Grimm and I really can't wait to see that in live action that's going to be really fun to see how CGI are they going to do how much and uh, I hope they don't do heavily CGI on the thing the thing just practical 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 they, they, they need to do that that's just me um, but you know besides all that stuff uh, you, they see uh, Galactus and pretty much the ends the comic book right there so yeah I'm gonna give it a solid 9 out of 10 I really like the Enchantress and Thor parts that was cool and the Eric and Professor X uh, ordeal and Wolverine tries to charge at uh, Wasp and also uh, Magneto, that was kind of funny, like, oh, yep, typical Wolverine, he's literally gonna, like, I'm gonna slice you up, bitch, and I could hear the 90s X-Men voice of Wolverine already, he's like, I'm gonna cut you up, like, all days, and, oh my god, it's gonna be so good, ah, oh, so hype for X-Men 97, but anyway, um, yeah, 9 out of 10, Really enjoyed it. I love the fact that Doctor Doom is just being a boss, being the trifle chief himself. You know what? I'll say this. You know what? I'll, if any, if anyone is gonna be Doctor Doom, why do we get Roman Reigns? I mean, shit! Cry out loud! He's gonna be the boss of the entire villains. If he's gonna make the villains and the entire. Uh, heroes to be look like bitches I mean dude we need a menacing intimidating motherfucker and I think Roman Reigns could do that <laughs> and uh 
truly, I truly do. But I mean, hell, he could be good. He could be bad. I mean, I don't, I don't see why not pull that trigger. Anyway, um, love to have everyone's thoughts on this. Tell me your thoughts down below on Secret Wars and uh, what you think on my casting choice on Doctor Doom. Love to hear it.